What I'm going to do now is to show you the parts of the guitar. Actually, all the different little things that function that makes the guitar work the way it does. I'll try to turn and take a close-up on my bridges because that's a very important thing on the touch guitar is the ability to have your own bridge system, your own pickups, your own electronics. If you didn't, you really wouldn't be able to get the sound. Now here, these are in, called individual bridges. They actually go all the way through to the back of the guitar. I don't know whether I can show that to you. Oh, I can show you a little bit. They go through to here. And they actually, they actually post so that they don't touch. This bridge does not touch this one. This one goes through the guitar itself and does not touch anything so that so that what happens is you you don't get the crosstalk. If you're playing this, there's absolutely no sound. You can't even feel a vibration on this string. Now if you have a common bridge, as you well know, if you pick this strong hard or especially this one, it'll make those other strings vibrate a little bit and you will actually get a sound you really don't want to hear because it's a sound that you're you're not trying to play. So with the individual bridge you eliminate that. Now on this bridge also you notice that I have a, a coarse tuner. This brings this will tune this 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 string up or down. This is a fine tuner that'll also bring it to a, a finer tune up and down if you'd like it. They have long intonators for sliding these this is a solid bell brass that's actually been plated. Uh, with this is gold plated, this is chrome. <laughs> Should be all gold on here, but I like the chrome for here. The you can slide these back and forth over three quarters of an inch for your intonation point. And you can also put these same bridges on a regular base so that you have all of this and a regular tuning system if that's what your little heart desires. So, these are the bridges. You notice on the upper neck, I'm going to pull off this cover. This cover, you notice how my arm, when it rests on here, and I'm reaching across the neck like you know, as I'm playing the notes here. Now, if I didn't have that cover on, you can imagine what would happen. I take the cover off. This was one of the patents that got me my first patent on the touch guitar. You imagine nothing because I'm, I can't keep my arm out of those. I can't keep my arm out of this area. Now, you notice when I show you that on this side here, I have the same thing in a way. This is actually the, the uh, guitar bridge and it's got a vertical bridge. And what the vertical bridge does is it actually makes it so that the string, when I touch the string down and the fret has a tendency to want to make it uh, go a little bit oval, these bridges actually keep the string in an absolute perfect circle. When you pick a guitar, if you were to turn this string on and you were to pick this note of this guitar, or you don't have to do that, it's going to be on because you get your finger on it, and you pick that, you get an oval shape to the guitar like this that has to come back to a pure circle before it's a pure note. On the touch guitar, hear how clean that note was the minute I hit it. There was no, there was no oscillation. There was nothing but the pure note. And when, and another feature about is that is that when I when I vibe when I do a a a, 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 a vibrato or what do you even want to call the uh, this on the notes of the touch guitar, you notice how they don't wash themselves out on a normal guitar. Imagine that the strings are 90 degree exactly to the bridge. And when you do a, 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 a vibrato or you're vibrating your fingers side to, the, side to side, what happens is one side is identical the same to the other. So you get cancellation. You actually get cancellation and you do not get a big wide variety of harmonics with the touch guitar because the bridge is not at the same angle as the fret. Is, is, is intonated to the bridge, but when you move the string on the fret down, it actually goes doesn't go as far as when you move it this direction. So when you look at this note on a on a oscilloscope or a or a spectrum analyzer, whatever you want to check it out on, you'll see that you'll get a different harmonic on both sides of the note. In the middle, you get that the harmonic of the note. When you go, but, but to both sides, you'll get a different one, so you get no cancellation and you get a much richer, fuller, sustaining harmonics to the notes of the guitar. So, what the cover, in taking the cover off, I'm just going to show you the rest of this part down here. These are the, these are the individual guitar bridges. I apologize for that light getting in there. I'll get that.